Hi everyone, Meisner here again. This time I thought I will make a little how-to video uh, with a problem that is uh, driving me crazy. Uh, the most of the A8s what I've seen have this problem that the, the rear uh, partial self shelf uh, is uh, making a rattle noise uh, when the subwoofer is uh, on and uh, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> And uh, I thought, uh, what the hell, I'm uh, taking the seats and the partial shelf out and uh, I'm trying to fix this problem. I've uh, looked at other videos on YouTube, no, there were uh, how to remove the partial shelf and everything, but uh, there were uh, no uh, videos about uh, how to fix this rattle, so I thought I will make it. But yeah, now uh, I will start to take the seats out. Mm, the, the videos what I saw the, had uh, the... Uh, one uh, uh, lower seat uh, was in uh, one piece, but I have the uh, retractable seats, uh, so they are uh, separate, pla uh, separate parts. I'm uh, uh, trying uh, to get them out uh, as uh, easy as possible. I hope it's not very hard. I haven't uh, taken this out uh, before, so this is my first time. But yeah, let's uh, try to fix this rattle problem and uh, I hope everything works. Fingers crossed. So you could uh, take the this part uh, of the seat out. You need to lift this part up. And then I will show you the light. And uh, then you see there is a clip in the middle of the screen. Mm, right there. You need to uh, lift it and uh, then I will show you. I will try to put uh, some light here. This clip. You need to push it, sorry. You need to push it and uh, then uh, pull the seat up a little bit. You need to pull it, like you see, and uh, then uh, move this part front up like you saw and a little bit to the inner side don't pull it very hard because otherwise you have the connectors under the seat you need to be careful not to break them I'll show you there are the connectors like you see where the white part is I hope you see something <laughs> And uh, the other part is holding also. Oh, this came out. And now I need to remove the connectors. What are under the seat. The connectors are there. And uh, when these are out, I need to take the seat out. But I uh, have to see how these come out. One seat part is out. Now we need to do the same with this side. I will lower the handrest down, lift this part up, and find the clip, pull it down, up, one out, this out, one out this out. I need to open the clip also. And this part of the seat is out. It seems uh, these parts need some uh, vacuuming. <laughs> I will clean this part later when I got this part removed and uh, fixed. But let's go on. For these connectors, this came out really good, but uh, this was uh, attached with a cable tie. I removed this part and uh, this clip just broke, but uh, there was something like this. I need to buy a new one and just put it back, but th this is a small problem. 
Now the uh, connectors are unhooked. I need to remove this, this, and uh, then I can uh, lift the rear seat part up and uh, remove it. But let's go on. The socket, what do you need here for this is uh, 17 millimeter. I forgot to say that uh, there are bolts also here. One is under this carpet, but uh, the other one is under here. And uh, I don't know how I can remove it because the carpet is so tight. And the factory manual says that uh, you need to pull this carpet away and uh, open it. But uh, this is the easy part here. But I will try to remove this. I don't know how. I pulled this carpet uh, part away with the force, so at least uh, nothing didn't break. Now we need to open this also. I already opened the other side and I can lift this uh, one seat part out. This part is out. Now I can lift the frame up and uh, remove this part. Whew. There was some fiddling, but the seat came out. There's a bracket behind the seat. I will show you once, uh, not right away. And uh, this uh, bracket needed to be, uh, the seat needed to be lifted up from the outside the bracket and pulled uh, to yourself, no, towards you. And now I got this part out and uh, now, I need to remove the... Where is the... Seatbelt part. There's a clip here. And now, I can lift the seat part out. This is quite a heavy one. Like I told before, this is the bracket. You need to lift this part up and uh, lift it up, pull it uh, towards your, and then you can get it out. Now I need to do this to the other side also. And uh, then I need to wash my hands because it's quite dirty in here. And uh, then I can start removing the upper trim and uh, when this is removed, then I can start removing this part. But I will uh, remove the other part also. Now the both seats are out. I haven't taken them out, so I think someone uh, haven't done it either. Because it's quite dirty under there. I am sweating like hell. Now I need to remove the plastic trim part. Because this part is uh, uh, holding the rear shelf part and uh, remove these and after that remove the upper part of the trim and then I can start removing the rear parcel so wish me luck I don't want to remove anymore I got the part out. Now if I want to remove the parcel I got to remove it so I will try to remove as little as possible for the upper part. I just need to start prying from some places. One is here uh, where's the antenna then is the, this side I hope uh, I won't break anything I just uh, washed my hands so I don't want to get dirty anything else but uh, I'll try to pry them open let's see this 
part comes quite easy. Just be gentle anyway. This came out. I will put it away because it's white Alcantara and I don't want to get it dirty. Uh, under the cover there is a T20 Torx. You need to remo remove this also. Let's remove this. Let's put it outside. Uh, now there are screws. There are screws uh, under here also. I have to remove these clips and uh, I will see what screws are there. I looked, there are T25 uh, Torx here. There was a T20. These are T25. To pry these covers open, I used a plastic trim tool. Then I won't uh, damage the Alcantara and uh, everything gets is okay. I used this set. And uh, it's very good for uh, such a delicate job. Now I got, I got the hinge removed. Now I start to pry this part out and uh, then I can remove the entire part and uh, uh, remove the socket for the uh, light also. But I will remove it and I will show how it went. I got this entire part out. I will show you where are the clips. So if you want to remove it, then you know where to pull it. Oh, rear curtain is there. And now I need to do this to the other side also. Now both covers are off. No, there I just left the part. I can just take it off. Now I need to remove the subwoofer cover because uh, there are walls under there. Remove this. And maybe then I can start to lift this uh, part up. I don't know uh, what I will put under there, but maybe I will go to a local uh, sound uh, company what is uh, dealing with these problems and maybe they can help me with the solution. This was a really a difficult job. The pins what are here, they are holding so tight. For, from there uh, you need to pull it up and uh, from this side you need to uh, move it to, to yourself. I will show you the cover. The cover is here. This is the part uh, what is uh, next to the window side and uh, this is the part what came out. This just pulls up and uh, to, towards you and uh, someone have already put some uh, tape here so it won't shake but now I need to remove four screws here and maybe then I can remove the rear parcel I forgot to say that the four screws what are holding this up woofer are T25 but uh, like I said I'm doing this the first time <laughs> I need to remove this part also this is a one plastic pin and uh, here is another one I need to remove these also and uh, then I can uh, start removing the parcel. So let's dismantle more and uh, let's see. Uh, did I did anything uh, wrong or right or no? Let's see. I took one part out like you see, but uh, the clips are so brittle and uh, the parts are broken. No, I told my friend who works at the dealership, so I need new ones. They are usually one one time use and uh, I will remove all these and uh, later pick up the new ones. Half an hour later, I got these parts out. This, this and uh, one here. They were a pain in the neck to get them out. I broke uh, every part. Uh, I will put the uh, new parts here, you know, new clips, so they were so stuck uh, 
Uh, I think uh, they are here from uh, 2012. But yeah. Now I will remove this part and uh, I need to remove the clips from the other side also. And uh, then finally maybe I can uh, take the rear parcel out. When I remove these parts, then uh, forgot that uh, I need to remove the seatbelt also. Oh, the seatbelt is under here. I need to remove this and uh, then I can start uh, taking the partial shelf off. I removed the seatbelt from the side also and uh, I need to remove the other side and now the partial shelf is uh, loose and uh, I need to take it out. Now I got the partial shelf out. It's a quite a big job to do it. I have uh, already messed with it with a couple of hours. But now I need to remove the rear curtain because the sound is coming from here. And uh, I saw that rear curtain has a, a couple of bolts here. One here and the one near the other side. And I will remove this and uh, I hope I can get some sound denting uh, under it and so it won't uh, make the rattling noise anymore. I forgot to say that uh, when I want to remove the rear curtain, I need to remove this speaker, I need to remove the subwoofer, I re need to remove the other speaker. And uh, I checked the factory manual that uh, I have to remove the rear uh, trims, you know, side trims also what where the curtain is moving. And uh, then there is a connection should be there and uh, I need to remove this also and uh, then I can uh, slide the curtain towards me and uh, take it out. I came inside the car and uh, the doors are closed because <laughs> outside it's raining and I don't want to get wet. I finally got the guide rails out. The plastic pins are a pain in the neck and uh, if I don't have a right uh, crowbar for these then it's a nightmare. Now I know I'm going inside after I put this together that I want to buy this uh, new guy, the plastic trim removers. But now everything is out. I have to check uh, now. There should be only uh, curtain removal. But let's hope uh, I can get it out. I am so exhausted. I started working this with this uh, at 11 and uh, now it's almost 7. I finally got the rear curtain out. This is the part where I tried to press the two-sided type tape out. But now I will show you the part. The places what are making the noise is this and this is the other side. I will try to I think uh, yeah, there are metal clips here. I will try to press uh, press them down. Now maybe when I try to open this, uh, it was pulled out. I will try to press it down as much as possible, and uh, maybe to put some uh, sealant between it, and uh, then start to put everything back together. This is a nightmare job. I don't uh, recommend this to anyone, but uh, if you are handy and uh, you want to do it, then you can do it. You can uh, watch my video and go for it. <laughs> I am not jealous. I found out where the problem is. It seems that uh, if the bass, uh, base is uh, moving, like you see, the clips uh, have been uh, loosened up. And uh, like you see, this cover is moving. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's uh, making a clipping noise. And uh, now I will try to, I will put uh, some uh, uh, tape between the edges and uh, then I will try to push the clips uh, back as strong as possible so it will uh, tight, tighten and uh, won't uh, move anymore. And uh, let's hope this helps. So now it's time to put it all back together. I put some uh, tape under here and uh, already uh, pressed these uh, connectors together so it won't move anymore and uh, I put also tape here because uh, this is a metal pipe 
and it was going uh, next to the plastic uh, part here and uh, that was making a noise and uh, yeah now I will try to test it I will put it back I will put the subwoofer in and I will try to see if the curtain is still shaking I hope not good morning it's the next day I finally got my baby back together it's an awful job to do I, now I know uh, why dealerships ask uh, so much money if you they want to disassemble this but uh, I finally got it back together yesterday I started at 11 a.m. and I finished at 21:45 p.m. today I started at 6:45 a.m. and uh, right now it's 10:15 uh, a.m. I was uh, inside uh, for uh, maybe 30 minutes because it started raining outside and uh, I didn't uh, I didn't want to get the interior wet but yeah it's an awful job if you don't have the right tools the Audi clips no the clips uh, what are holding most of the rear part uh, they are so small and uh, I have a screw you know crowbar uh, to remove these but uh, this is too big and uh, I need to buy uh, small, smaller ones uh, if you have the right tools then you maybe have uh, mm, two hours uh, ahead <laughs> uh, because uh, the job uh, to remove them uh, without the proper tools this is very awful uh, my hands are hurting I am uh, scratched everywhere and uh, it's a pain in the neck <laughs> But yeah, uh, I just tested uh, the part uh, where the it was uh, making the rattle noise. Uh, there is still a small uh, rattle noise, but uh, it's uh, much better than it was before. Because before it was like a brr, 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 but right now it's like a uh, really small uh, sound. I don't know uh, what else uh, I can do to remove them. Uh, I, like you saw yesterday, I put it all so together as tight as possible. I put the uh, tape between them and uh, oh, it's a bad engineering job. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now I am uh, going uh, to the Calibra because uh, the Calibra had a problem also uh, some uh, water came in from uh, the right uh, windshield uh, edge and yesterday I went and uh, had it uh, fluid uh, once again and now I have to put the glove box and everything back in so this uh, car will be complete also <sighs> uh, it's not very hard <laughs> To do these jobs and uh, film for you but uh, I am trying to give you as uh, much uh, as tutorials as I can uh, so your life would be easier uh, than mine I did this uh, job for the first time in the Audi and uh, it was very awful <laughs> yeah but uh, if you like my content like usual hit like hit subscribe and uh, uh, feel free to comment and uh, tell me what do you think uh, about this video and uh, was this tutorial helpful and uh, if you have any questions just ask uh, now I know how to take this uh, part uh, rear part uh, out, you know, out of the car and uh, what uh, where clips and everything are but yeah see you soon on the next video bye